Previously on Welcome to Myanmar. Steve and I left the comfort of Chiang Mai, Thailand and headed over the border into the mysterious country of Myanmar. All right, so we made it across the border. No problems, no issues. This is going to be our driver. Look at his handsome face. We spent three days in Pa'an, which at first seemed like a rainy, miserable town, but it quickly turned out to be one of the most stunning places we've ever seen. Everyone's waving at us, smiling as we drive yeah, along. Yeah, everyone's so friendly. The thing about Burma and Myanmar in general is just every single day is something unpredictable. And now we arrive in the intensely crowded city of Yangon. to Myanmar. <laughs> so yeah, last night we got on the night bus. Not expecting to have such a nice bus here in Myanmar. Yeah, That's like fun. USB charging ports, air conditioning, yeah. a weird horror movie, nice locals. <laughs> we stopped halfway through the night, we had food, we had a beer, had some whiskey. Yeah, it was, it was a great ride, it was beautiful, and it was actually quicker than we thought. Then we arrived in the middle of the night in the city, we took a taxi to our hostel. This is the hostel here. It's called Once in Yangon, and we were just like, oh my yeah, gosh. I was, I was yeah. not expecting this place to be so nice. Best hostel, cleanest Ever? hostel, and it's <laughs> so cheap. It's like $12 each. Up top, there's also like beanbag chairs mm. and a nice common area. Really just, good breakfast as well, like yeah. chickpeas with naan bread, peanut butter jam. What else do you need? Yeah, peanut butter is my favorite. Crunchy peanut butter too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've gone from beautiful countryside to rainy, miserable city, so. <laughs> it's not miserable. <laughs> it's still gonna be beautiful. There's a lot to explore here, so let's yeah, fair go enough. do it. So for the past two days, we were going on like crazy adventures. So today, we're just gonna kinda take it easy and just go with no plan. And who knows, sometimes those are the most fun days. Don't always feel obligated to plan out every day when you travel. All you gotta do is just get out and walk, and you'll never know what happens. Just go do something. You'll meet cool people, you'll see cool things, so let's go do that. Look at this guy. <laughs> right, look at these construction workers here. Hey guys. They do it a lot differently than we do. <laughs> no rules here, but we've got lean on Messi. Is that Messi? Messi? <laughs> Interesting place for a game of football. <laughs> how many tourists have we seen, Steve? Uh, yeah, none. <laughs> We're gonna start counting how many foreigners we see. So far, zero. <laughs> we got we got two in our hostel, but they're both asleep. Check out this rad dude with his hat on. He's chilling. What's up, dude? Yeah, having a little meeting, ladies. Lunch meeting. Careful where you're going. So as you see, my favorite thing 
to eat and wear our bananas on my shirt and my pants. And look at this. Ah, banana land. <laughs> I'm in heaven right now. What kind of a banana is this? Oh, there's all bananas inside as well. So apparently right here we have a bunch of people drinking tea, but also a lot of people selling gems. If you notice, they have rocks and stones. They're all gems dealers. I say your gem? Yes. All right, so I thought people in Asia were small, but not this small. I guess it was cheaper to buy children's furniture. <laughs> it's so cheap to eat in Burma. It cost us two dollars for six portions of Indian food last night. Oh, thank you. Wow, look at that, Steve. Potato curry, I don't know what that is. Don't know what that is, I don't know what that is. But that looks good, tuck in. We spent the rest of the afternoon getting lost in the bustling old part of town. Exploring some of the local markets. What are these called? Discount 5,000. Okay, discount 5,000, that's what they're called. Eating some more delicious street food. Look at this guy's head. <laughs> the purple and blue. And just getting a sense for urban life here in Myanmar. We both agreed to split up and have some chill time doing our own thing since we had pretty much been on top of each other from day one. But we decided to meet up the next day at breakfast and come up with a fun budgeteer style day out. Yesterday we uh, we had a bit of a lazy day, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's so nice here. Yeah. I love this place. Like it's just all the craziness is just outside, <laughs> but in here it's like it's nice oh. and calm and mellow. <laughs> Plan for the day, Steve. What we're we gonna do, Jerkin? So it looks like it's it's clearing up actually, but it was raining this morning. A um, rainy day can sometimes screw up your plan. Yeah. You're like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this, and then you see it's pissing down with rain. You're like, well, what am I gonna do? So there's always a way to have fun. There's always something to do. One thing that's popular here in Yangon is there's a train that actually goes around in a circle, a big circle around the whole city. So we figured we can get on this train, experience the culture, and another way to explore a new culture and really experience the local environment is through its food. So we're going to combine the two today. We're going to get on the train uh, and get off at some random stops and find some food. DIY food tour. DIY food tour. <laughs> so we're all here. Put your hand up if you're not here. We're all here. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> Our boy Coco here. Yeah. Who works in reception and is an absolute legend here at this beautiful hostel. Yeah. We were like, oh, what are you doing tomorrow? Yeah. And he's like, nothing. We're like, what time do you finish? He's like, nine. We're like, do you want to come tomorrow? He's like, yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to come on the train with us and just eat a bunch of food with us yeah. and um, have a good time, right? Yeah, right. What station should we go to? Yeah, first? I think near the uh, Lamoureux station. It's very near, so we can go fast. Yeah, and then Ooh. we take the ticket. Yeah. Sweet as. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I travel with this dickhead? Oh, oh, come on. Alright, so we got some tickets. Check out this rad train station. This is. <laughs> Pretty cool. This ticket is good for a whole way around? Yeah, whole way around. Cool. And how much did this cost? Yeah, just uh, only one, 200 yen. It's less than a dollar for three tickets, so it's a pretty good deal. So now it's time to play our little game we like to call Pick a Card and we ride the train. <laughs> Maybe we can find a better name. The Yangon Train Extreme Food Tour 2017 Extravaganza, yeah! <laughs> So we're gonna go up to these little children right here because I love children. And make them pick a card. One card. One card. Get a girl up. You like? 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 You like?
Is that so right? right there? All right. Okay. What it takes, we look. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Yeah. Damn. Very yeah. nice. Very so nice. we are going yeah. 10 stops on our first ride thanks to this beautiful little princess right here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think she's scared of it. Yeah, a little bit scared. <laughs> jump off the train because it kind of stopped for a second and then we had to jump off. Coco, have you ever been to this stop before? No. So now that we're here at the tent stop, let's go outside, find somewhere to eat yeah. and just get a bunch of food. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, here we go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. that. Okay, <laughs> you want? Yeah. Yeah, just, just, yeah, like get a couple of dishes. All right. I wasn't expecting oh, to okay. find some food down this road. It looks like people are just yeah. living here, but you could find food anywhere, apparently. Mmm. Really yummy potato curry. Delicious. These are bean sprouts. Yeah, yeah, bean sprouts. Really good. And then watercraft. Yeah, and in Thailand it's similar. They yeah. call it morning glory, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> morning glory. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh. Right. Steve, you want some? Yeah, Steve. Yeah. Hello. Mingo Lava. Lava. Show. <laughs> it's just so cool. So that's only 40 cents US for three different dishes in one big plate of food. Yeah, that was delicious, thank you very much. 300. So the first station was a success. Great yeah. success. Thank you, Coco. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go back to the train station, get the cards back out, and then hopefully we'll get another lucky yeah, train no stop. <laughs> With food everywhere, literally on your head. <laughs> Pick a card, any card. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. And it is uh, eight, 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 eight. eight more stops. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Okay, low five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We're going eight stops. The super duper fun, amazing Yangon train game food extravaganza 2017. And uh, it's a little different than the last stop. We might have to just eat some leaves. <laughs> now, I'm sure we could find some stuff over here. Let's check it out. All right, so we got some delicious food here. What do we have? Rice and tea leaf salad. Rice and tea leaf salad. We got some eggs, fried eggs, omelet. And everyone seems to be just hanging out watching The Exorcist or something. It's kind of creepy. Everyone's just having some tea, enjoying themselves a nice midday matinee movie. Okay. Ten. 
Oh. Oh. Wow. Nice. <laughs> High five. So we're going 10 more stations. <laughs> so these kids are just playing the most random game I've ever seen. I think they're trying to hit the bottle. Oh. I'll go next. Ah, you missed it, mate. All right, here we go. Ah, no. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. Come on, Patty. Come on. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. First try, baby. Okay. Ready? He likes that one, Steve. Yeah, I'm making up a new game. What is that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm just tucking into my chicken biryani here. Um, we've had a really fun, productive, adventurous day out on the Yangon train circle line. Getting off, having fun, having lots of food, meeting lots of locals. And now we've come back into the, the downtown Central Park and there's a beautiful, massive gold pagoda right behind us. I think we'll stay here for the rest of the afternoon and enjoy the sunset. Cheers. Apparently they don't skip any detail here. You got a nice butthole and some juicy testes. <laughs> this might be the largest and oldest pagoda known to human because we don't know about the aliens. They might have their own pagoda somewhere that are much older than ours. But real quick, just turn around and check out this beautiful gold mountain. Admire it, take it all in. After a successful budgeteer's day out on the train, eating all the food and meeting some crazy locals, we enjoyed the rest of the evening surrounded by the golden glow from the Shwedagon Pagoda before calling it a night ready for the long hitchhike north the next day. Alright guys, so we spent a few nights here, once in Yangon, <laughs> once in Yangon, this hostel is absolutely beautiful, and this is actually who started it right here, Hi guys. Tanya, it's, she's amazing, how long has this hospi hostel been uh, open? A month and a week now? A month and a week, brand new, fresh hostel, if you come to Yangon you gotta check this place out. We're about to hit the road, put up some thumbs, or do whatever we can to try to hitchhike, so here we go. Our first time hitchhiking Good in luck. Myanmar. <laughs> Thank you, bring it in. Thanks for having us. <laughs> we quickly jumped on a local bus to take us out of the city. This is the number, number 35. All right, never mind. And it wasn't long before our hitchhiking adventure into the unknown began. First ride of the day. <laughs> Rock and roll. Thank you. All the bang. Chips and bang. Chips and bang. <laughs> Ooh. 
Boom! Cheers to Myanmar. Scrum de Welcome to what we can only describe as the perfect hitchhiking spot. Look at this. This is like the oasis for hitchhikers. We've got lots of space for people to pull over. We've got little old ladies selling vegetable samosas. And this road goes all the way up north into Mandalay and beyond. So we didn't hitchhike at the start of this trip because the locals told us it wasn't very safe and there were a lot of police stops and pe people checking passports. But we think that we should be fine on this road. We got plenty of trucks that look like <clears throat> this. We've had an amazing time. Pat An was just so beautiful. Such an amazing, rustic part of the country. And uh, Yangon was this crazy, bustling city. But we showed, hopefully, to you guys that you're going to have a lot of fun there on a really tight budget. We've only spent, we've been working it out. We haven't spent $300 yet between us. Yeah. I mean, food here is next to nothing, isn't it? Yeah, the, really the only expense you're going to come across is accommodation, hotels, and places to sleep. We're just astonished at how cheap everything else is. We paid a dollar, two dollars for taxis all the way across the city. Food was nothing. $3 food is nothing. for both of us for two whole meals. It was, yeah. it's, it's amazing here, and it's, it's quality stuff too. So, If you've enjoyed this half as much as we've had making it, then I'm sure you've had a good time. So, yeah, let us know in the comments, like, what you thought of this episode, what you thought of this series. Hopefully we've shown you that Myanmar isn't that super dangerous place that maybe the media is portraying it at the moment. Obviously there are places here that you don't want to be hitchhiking in, you don't want to be traveling through, and we're not, and either of any of the other travelers here, and all the locals are just going above and beyond, haven't they, to welcome us, show us around, make us feel welcome, and it is definitely already one of my favorite countries I've ever been to, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. It's, it's incredible. I agree with everything you said. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, without further ado, I think we're going to start hitchhiking here. Where's There's a mystery in that direction. <laughs> mystery awaits us to the unknown. Yes, I wish just luck guys and We're boom now it's my turn to take it over guys the rest of this series is gonna be on my channel so go ahead make sure you subscribe to the budgeteers if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and go ahead and click the link down below so you can continue watching this series we have plenty more adventures in store and we're excited to share see you in the next video guys peace uh, Okay. okay. It's not gonna happen, okay. I think. Okay. Never mind. Safe journey. And I hope those brooms get to where they're going safely.